Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabury Church of Christ in our midweek lesson for October the 4th, 2023. Hope you're having a, a great day, but wanted to take just a few minutes and talk to you about learning to walk by faith. You know, dis despite our faults and our failures, God loves us and he he is willing to work through every willing heart. Now, when the Bible tells us about a great man or woman of faith, the Lord in his kindness also often shows us the person's weaknesses and their failings. For example, let's take a minute and let's look at Abraham. Like any one of us, he had faults. He sinned, he, he made mistakes. Still, God loved him and accomplished great things through his life. When the Lord spoke to Abraham, Abraham listened. Just imagine, just imagine what promises and blessings he would have missed if he had failed to pay attention. If you have your Bibles, open them to Genesis chapter 12 and follow with me as I read chapter 12, verses one through eight. Now the Lord said to Abram, go forth from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land which I will show you and I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you. And the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So Abram went forth as the Lord had spoken to him and Lot went with him. Now, Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his nephew, and all their possessions which they had accumulated, and the persons with which they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. Thus they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land as far as the site of Shechem to the Oak of Morah. Now the Canaanite was then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, to your descendants, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. Then he proceeded from there to the mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Now, while you've got your Bible still open, turn over to Genesis chapter 15 and look at verses one through five. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, do not fear. Abram, I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me since I am childless and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram said, since you have given no offspring to me, one born in my house is my heir. Then behold, the word of the Lord came to him saying, this man will not be your heir, but one who will come forth from your own body. He shall be your heir. And he took him outside and said, now look toward the heavens and count the stars. If you are able to count them. And he said to him, so shall your descendants be. Now, with your Bible still open in Genesis, turn to chapter 17 and look at verses one through four. 
Now, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you exceedingly. Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you will be the father of a multitude of nations. Abraham's conversations with God teach us, teach you and me what living by faith looks like. Listening to God, when we recognize God's voice, we'll have assurance about what to do and where to go. Obeying God, Obeying God shows we really trust him. And each time we obey him, our faith, brethren, our faith grows stronger. Depending on God, human nature wants to be self-sufficient, but we desperately, desperately need God's wisdom. We need his strength, and brethren, we need his help. Waiting on God, our willingness to patiently let God move in his own way, it reaps great blessings and prevents big messes from, messes from happening. Acknowledge and learning from our failures. The Bible tells us that God exalts the humble. In Matthew 23, verse 12, Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Which of these do you struggle with? A question for you and me. Which of these do we struggle with? We need to ask God to help us move forward, trusting him. Trusting him, but not only trusting him, brethren, but listening, listening carefully for his voice. Just think about what Abraham would have missed out on if he had not listened to God. And you and I, many times, we fail to listen to God and we fail to wait patiently for him to have things happen for us. Just think about this the rest of this week and and when you're kind of depressed and down, we need to think about it because we also need to ask God to help us to have the strength and the ability to live a Christian life. It's not easy, but God loves us and we need to walk by faith. Again, just something to think about for the rest of the week. We greatly appreciate your tuning in uh, we know that most of the kids are out of school next week. If you're traveling, we hope and pray that you have a safe journey and that you have a great time. But don't forget to keep your focus on God. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to our messages. It means a great deal to us. We hope and pray that you're sharing these messages with your friends and your loved ones and helping us to spread the gospel of Christ. If you can, we would love to have you come visit with us at the Seafree Church of Christ. That would be great. And we would love to meet you and, and get to know you and, and have you worship with us. Our Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday morning, and our worship service follows at 10.30 a.m. Again, thank you so very much for tuning in. And if the Seafree Church of Christ can be of help to you if we possibly can. We would like to do that. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. Again, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.